Welcome back to another presentation of the Kenyan Sports Connection. I'm Ryan Gasser. We are joined by the head coach of the Lord's Swimming Program, Jess Book. And now we're talking swimming and diving season preview for the Lord's side of the pool. And Coach, you can't help but mention last year's success, pulling down a national championship uh, and restoring the prominence that uh, Lord's Swimming has been over the course of the years. Just take us through last year and the amazing accomplishments that you had as a head coach, uh, just what they meant to you and to the program. Uh, last year was special, special on both sides for sure. Uh, it was it was a culmination of lots of time and lots of effort and people who really bought in uh, to being the best they could possibly be. It was really exciting for me as a coach to see people who swam so patiently and, and confidently at the national championship. So rather than going in there and trying to you know, grab a hold of something and, and take back what they had once had, they went in there just to swim fast and have fun. And I think that was really the key that unlocked the door to some really, really special swims last year. Uh, last year was maybe maybe the best meet I've ever been part of. Uh, we really had uh, virtually every swim was something to be excited about. It was fun to celebrate not only what the men were doing in the water, but the women. We really fed off one another, too. It was, it was pretty special. I think the photo of the ceremonial jump into the pool after pulling down that championship pretty mm -hmm. much sums up all the mm -hmm. fun that you said that they had. Mm -hmm. And part of the message, uh, aside from just having fun, uh, that you gave to the team last year was defining what it meant to be a lord. Now, mm -hmm. having that national championship back in the trophy case, how do you translate that message to this year's team? Do you redefine it, or do you just build off of that? That's a really good question. I like that. Uh, that's something we've been thinking about a lot these last just couple of weeks, in fact. And, and I think that every team needs to be defined around that team in and of itself. And so the team that we were last year is very different than the team that we are this year, you know, partly because of the, uh, the wonderful people we graduated last year, not only in terms of the strengths, in terms of their abilities and their events, but just their personalities. The personalities of the outgoing senior class are very different from the personalities of the current senior class. And so this year, um, we'll need to define ourselves around ourselves. And so it may not be as much about redefining what it means to be a Lord, but it's about defining what is this team made of, what makes this team special, what makes us different than previous teams, and how do we rally around that in a way that we can really draw strength from one another, but also build on that as the season goes on. This is a long process. This is not something that you accomplish in one team meeting or even in uh, a semester. It will take us until the very end before we're ready to really unveil uh, who we are as a team. But I like that challenge. It's one I hope that the team is really uh, bought into and engaged in. Uh, we talk a lot about being very mindful about who they are, very conscious in what they do, um, also very honest about who they are as well. And that's something we have to do in order to have a real accurate definition of who we are. Uh, if we're going to build around it, we need to understand who it is as well. Now, what about you as a coach? You've got a year under your belt with the Lords. What did you learn last season being uh, the program's head coach and what carries over into this season with those lessons that you did learn? The lessons are, are tremendous. I don't even know if I could enumerate them all. I mean, they, they really are. Every year you learn, you learn so much as a coach and you learn it from your student athletes. You learn very small nitty gritty things about technique, detail work. Uh, you're always learning from that group of people. You learn about your training, things that you did in your training last year that were effective, things that you want to bring back for this year, things that you didn't think were as effective last year, things that you want to do differently this coming year. Um, I think that one of the lessons that I, I continually learn is do your very best to treat everyone as an individual. Do your very best to understand that what makes one person tick is very different than what makes another person tick. And trying to target those people based on their own uh, personalities is probably one of the goals that we share and, and, and try very hard to accomplish in our coaching as well. But in terms of actual things I learned, I learned some things in training, but I'm not going to say them. Um, I learned some things in, in resting people, getting them ready for championship swimming, but I'm not going to say those either. Um, but overall, it's just a reinforcement that Kenyan is special, Kenyan student athletes are special, and really taking the time to get to know them is extremely important. Well, you mentioned a lot of outstanding and uh, outstanding people that you graduated, both mm -hmm. in and out of the pool with their personalities and abilities, mm -hmm. that won't be coming back this year. So mm -hmm. now you're going to be looking to last year's sophomores and juniors to fill those holes. So what mm -hmm. events are going to be either um, targeted as specialties this year or perhaps individuals that may rise to the occasion to fill the holes? Sure. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, we have graduated over the last couple of years some incredible sprinters 
and that's been kind of part of our definition, but this year we're going to be a little bit thinner on the sprint side, and so we'll probably see our distance freestyle pick up a bit this year, we'll probably see our IMs pick up a bit this year, we'll probably see our breaststrokes pick up a bit this year, and that will be fun and exciting as well. It's nice to be able to change and redefine yourself as uh, your personnel change as well. Uh, you know, you talk about those uh, that vacate the program and leave mm -hmm. holes, but then you're also bringing in people mm -hmm. in the freshman class that will help you fill holes and add to that depth. Mm -hmm. So when you went out and you recruited and you brought out these student athletes into mm -hmm. Kenyon, what were some of the strengths that they possess as a class or mm -hmm. on an individual basis that we'll get to see this year? Uh, we like to really recruit people based on who they are as people. We don't focus as much on their times. Uh, we don't focus as much on their um, just their their stature, how tall they are, how strong they are, that kind of stuff. We're looking for people that can really appreciate Kenyan, people that can really be excited about Kenyan swimming and diving, people that are really passionate about the sport and really want to swim fast. And so that's what we look for in prospective student athletes. And this group definitely fills that bill. They are very very good fits for Kenyon, and I think that they're going to make a, a very big impact on this program. Uh, but it's not about, oh goodness, we're losing sprinters, we need, to, we need to go out and recruit sprinters. It's about we're losing some wonderful people. We need to go out and find some people that can really appreciate this place. I think if we can do a great job of bringing together people that really belong here and want to be here, then we can create a very exciting team around them. And that's just the way I operate. I'm not sure if other coaches coach that way, but for us it's about culture more than it is about anything else. If we get the culture right, then we give ourselves the opportunity to do something special. And at the end of the day, for special, we'll be excited, whatever special means. Some years special might mean a national championship, some years special might mean second or third in civil A's, but if we're swimming fast, if people are doing things they've never done before, we can be proud of ourselves and excited about what we've done. Well, your tactics and your recipe for success has certainly paid great dividends for Kenyan swimming and diving thus far. We hope to get to see all the rest of the new faces as well as those returning in the pool this uh, season. The first chance that everybody will get an opportunity to see Kenyon in a dual meet will be on Friday, October 25th, that down at Ohio State, the meet beginning at 6 p.m. Coverage will be available at athletics.kenyon.edu. For head coach of the Lord Swim program, Jess Book, I am Ryan Gasser of the Kenyon Sports Connection. Thank you for joining us on this 2013-14 Lord Swim season preview.